Hi guys. Um, I was requested to look into this spreadsheet. I think it's 2023. Let me check. It's 2023 uh, computer practice N6. Uh, and the, it's, um, it's a very interesting spreadsheet with a uh, VLOOKUP reference table uh, if statement in one. So we're going to look at it now using and then we're gonna attempt to answer it on a spreadsheet especially the key ones the v lookup and the, the if because others you i think you'll be able to answer them like these ones here the uh, smallest largest numbers and averages these are basics this this you should know and then if you check here okay the the, the material district this one yeah, you have to look it up you have to look it up from the district the district is at the bottom here so you have to find the district pay officer and allocate it using the vlookup and then also what is interesting is actually this this one here this is the one that i was focusing on captains because if you look at the question it says you must look out for captains but if the person is not a captain that person must be referred to as a junior so how do we answer that one it means it's a mixture of a vlookup and if in one case so let us let us go to the top of the question paper so that you can look at it properly i'm gonna just scroll i'm gonna scroll to the top of the question paper i think it's number okay uh, let's look what number is it okay well, let me scroll like this uh, okay here yeah. I think it's number number C number C number C up a little bit this thing is distracting me let me move it out Use the appropriate function to display the names of captains. Okay, it says the names of captains. Uh, let me highlight the names of cat the names of captains. If the rank is captain, display the name and surname. Otherwise, the answer should be junior. So it means you're gonna look up using v, uh, vlookup sometimes you can use the hlookup depending on how your table is being put is it a vertical or horizontal one and then in this one just say look for the names of the captains and then if you find it and then uh, and if if that person is a captain uh okay you you put the name then display the name and send it with the captain and then otherwise if the person is not the captain just put junior okay let us go to it uh it's very interesting i saw it and i was like uh oh, we have to do this one we have to do this one okay this is number c and then i'm gonna go up to the question paper to look which year is this one now uh, i'm gonna go to top top of the question paper you can see here it's uh where is it oh i'm still far they're sent to me by one of the okay way 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 top top yeah you can see it's, it's november 2023 okay okay let us go to the spreadsheet Okay, back to our spreadsheet, guys. Uh, back to our spreadsheet. Okay, now I just sampled that part of the spreadsheet to deal with this column and this column, especially. This one, they're looking for the um, um, magisterial district, and then you can see they are there on the table below. That's our reference table. So if you know Villa you know it's a reference table. You can highlight it and define its name. I've already defined it, and I call it the metros. So you can define it or call it uh, give it a name or you can continue working and highlight it 
it's gonna select it as a reference table okay now because now we know we know we're gonna look from a table that is not part of this spreadsheet it's a vlookup because our data is moving from top to bottom it's go going like that it's a vertical lookup so let's just do it equal sign we're looking for the district of uh, mr Ku Ma makubela so we're gonna go to lookup and gonna go to vlookup and then our lookup value we are looking for makubela uh, district and then the table i said my table is metros metros you can call it uh, according to the question paper i call it metros and then where is the metro the metro is in column one two number three then i put a three there and then i put a zero there because there's nothing else there and then then i click ok then it tells us that maquibella is at uh, southwest then we do the fill down function then we find all the district for for all other uh, officers then we go to this one of captains this one of captain they said and then i'm gonna pause and go to the question so that it's very important to read and understand what they say now they say use appropriate uh, function to display the names of captains if the rank is a captain display the name and surname and then otherwise otherwise just call that person a junior otherwise that person is going to be called a junior it's very important so we're gonna go to our table so that we see how we use the if function to to display this okay back to our table now we are looking for captains if in this column it must just either say captain uh, it must have a name of a captain or it must just I just say junior so we know we are using an if function so we're going to go to logical we're going to go to logical i don't know i like to press the equal sign first every time i use excel we go to logical then it's like on if then we're looking for if what we are looking for who we are looking for uh, the the ranks we're looking for the ranks click on the ranks if the rank if the rank is equals to put equals to captain then what then what must happen and remember you see it, it says name there if it says name it means the, the formula is wrong so i'm gonna go back and say uh, b3 equals to and then i put inverted commas when you use uh, text you use inverted commas then i'm gonna use open and close inverted commas so if b3 is equals to captain then what must happen then cell a of the names of the people or, or names and sentences must be selected so i'm gonna click on my bell i'm gonna click a3 so a3 must be selected so if my is a captain then his name is gonna appear but if he's not a captain the system must give me junior it must just say junior and then i click okay say Makubela, because it's not a captain, it just says junior. But if I do the fill down function, it's going to give me all the captains. It's going to say junior, junior, then Mbata, Kaunda. So that's how you use the if function. Let us repeat, check the, the, the formula again. If B3 is equals to inverted commas, captain, because I'm typing it in, comma, eh, then you select A3, that it, the system is going to select the name on the A3 column and then otherwise also in inverted commas it must just say junior so if you are typing this without using the document function you use inverted commas all, uh, all, all the way if you're using the argument function sometimes it works out but because there was an equal sign before the word captain i have to use inverted commas so that's how you do it uh, uh, guys uh, using if and then we we, use, we did the v lookup and the if in one statement on the v lookup we use the table and then on the if statement we just use these columns because every all the data that we're looking for are here we can also use the same table reference table on, on this if statement but there is also another function called the if v look if v lookup 
you can use use that but because our data is just here eh? then we just use the, the if statement okay guys thanks for watching and then uh say share this because most students are struggling with v lookup and if statement in the examination thanks very much goodbye watch the next video